fighting for the new york of ukraine russian army bogged down since the beginning of aggravation in the direction of Turetsk, the situation in new york donetsk region has become more complicated Analysts note that the enemy continues to press towards the center of the village as well as mercilessly continuing to strike from different types of weapons. However, it is not excluded that this offensive of the Russian Federation can decline, writes RBC Ukraine. Recently, American Institute for the Study of War said that the occupation troops allegedly achieved a significant tactical success in New York, Donetsk region. At the same time, the ISW noted that they do not observe visual confirmation that the invaders are so deep in the settlement as they claim. In turn, the Deep State Analytical Project also reported that the occupiers were able to expand their presence in the central part of the settlement. In addition, Britain's intelligence also recently noted the advance of the Russians in New York and pointed out an interesting nuance. The British note that the Russian army has made a slight advance to the settlement of New York, a well-fortified section of the front line, and the last point on the line of demarcation which existed until 2022. It is noteworthy that even before the full-scale war, the front line there passed almost straight behind the settlement and from the position of the Ukrainian army near New York, one can see even without binoculars the outskirts of Holivka which has been occupied since 2014 and is six kilometers from New York itself. The Ukrainian general staff comments on the situation in the neighborhood of the settlement dryly and briefly in its daily reports, giving the number of enemy attacks. Also, the military does not officially confirm the presence of the enemy there. For example, when asked to comment on analysts' data that Russian troops have already entered New York, neighboring Turetsk, the speaker of the operational strategic grouping of troops, Kortitsia, Nazar Voloshin said that he can neither confirm nor deny the data of international analysts. I will only say that the defense forces are fighting for this settlement as the enemy does not stop assaults and shelling from different types of weapons and using aviation, Voloshin said. The head of the Center for Military and Legal Studies, Alexander Musienko, said in a commentary to RBC Ukraine that the Russians' goal is to seize the bridgehead. That is, they want to seize New York and Turetsk and thus ensure their further advancement. In fact, we are talking about advancing towards Konstantinivka. According to him, fighting may show how everything will happen in reality. Now, the aggressor is trying to actually destroy New York, sometimes using the advantage in firepower. The Ukrainian army in turn continues to constrain the enemy, which, according to the expert, has no success in terms of infantry attacks. That is, Russians have goals but in terms of realization, they cannot achieve them. Firstly, because the Ukrainian defense is acting very coherently and correctly and our soldiers are taking the right measures. Secondly, because the enemy has missed more than one chance due to the actions of both our units and because they use extremely large forces and have extremely small success. And I will say that I don't see any opportunities for the enemy to seize Donetsk region in the coming months. It is unrealistic to do it before the end of this year, Musienko concluded. Yemen's Houthi militant group has attacked a container ship with Ukrainians on board near the Yemeni port city of Mocha in the Red Sea. The attack occurred on July 20, while the video footage from the incident circulated on Telegram app on July 23. Maritime News reported with reference to the United Kingdom Maritime Trade Operations UKMTO, that the Houthis launched two drone attacks on the container ship. The first attack was launched with the use of an unmanned aerial vehicle that exploded in the immediate vicinity of the ship, causing minor damage. The second attack on the ship was carried out by a surface unmanned vehicle, which also exploded in close proximity to the ship. The ship and the crew members were safe after the attack. A security officer later reported that a missile had been spotted, passing the vessel and hitting the water near the vessel. The UKMTO urged all ships to transit the sea with caution and to report any suspicious activity. Meanwhile, Reuters news agency reported with reference to a maritime security source that the attacked vessel was a Liberian flagged container ship. Following the attack, it continued to maneuver at a maximum speed in order to escape. According to marine traffic data, the ship departed Jeddah, 
Saudi Arabia on July 18 and was scheduled to arrive at a port in Malaysia on July 28.